Hello Virgos, it's Prado G and I'm here with the general collective reading for your sign. Thank you so much for showing up today. If your birthday is between August 23rd and September 22nd, you are a vibrant Virgo and I really do appreciate you. This reading is for you. Now this is general and collective, so take what does resonate for you and leave behind what does not, okay? I will be hitting on multiple points in this reading to make it correlate to the collective and and help bring alignment to your circumstance as as much as possible but if it does not fit your circumstance just look for another virgo reading on my channel it may resonate for you and if you can't find one that does then i know that there is a video out there on the world wide web on youtube that will resonate for you and i do appreciate you for stopping by so yeah let's jump into this reading starting off with the significant number all right the number nine, shout out to all of my September Virgos, the ninth month of the year. Number nine is the number of completion, attainment, fruition. Things are finally um, starting to come into manifestation. It's like you are able to actually see the fruits of your labor or you are about to here. You're completing a certain phase in your life. Somebody could be graduating middle school, uh, going into ninth grade next year, or um, just literally... Oh, I'm getting a vibe of somebody's um, pregnancy cycle is complete and over. Yes, nine months pregnant, baby. You about to have that baby. You about to give birth for somebody. Uh, especially with this yellow energy, your solar plexus energy is showing up. This is your gut, right? But being confident in your manifestations, know that it's fate, right? It's meant to happen is meant to be all of these things are meant to be if it wasn't meant to be it wouldn't be happening so if it's happening it was meant to be and that's just that on that period right and it's because of you choosing to think a certain way to go up, make certain decisions it led you down this path so be able to accept where it is that you find yourself at this point in time if your birthday is september 9th special shout out to you as well okay all right now Nine o'clock could be very prominent for somebody as well. You could be working a nine to five or you go to school at nine o'clock or I don't know, nine, nine is just standing out. I'm also getting, um, you might have a cat. You might have a cat, a yellow cat. I'm thinking of nine lives. Very much resilient though. Nine of wands energy, persevering. You're gonna persevere. You made it this far. That's the vibe that I'm receiving so you made it this far and now the sun is shining down upon you all right spirit let's get into this message for my virgos what's the basis of this reading going to be for the lovely sign of virgo we got love oh my god you are manifesting love you are so lovely you are holding on to a lot of love there's a lot of love coming from your energy right now and it's time for you to serve share it with the world service is showing up in reverse it says i feel good when i can help others so right now um there's a lot of love that you have within and you can be serving the world with this um it says i convinced to see in the good and all things there could be some sort of job that you're um denying or declining because you don't feel like it's going to bring the happiest energy out of you but also i'm seeing here with this love and that service card showing up it's like um you know serving the people that you love the most starting with yourself right <laughs> making sure that you're serving your greatest purpose um, and doing what you love doing or something that is actually going to bring more love to you. But I definitely see some love, some past love here. You could have definitely gotten pregnant by a past love. And you're looking at the situation optimistically. That's not going to resonate for everybody. But yeah, love, love, a lot of love. What we got showing up for my Virgos here. Basis of this reading, clear messages for Virgo. We got relationships. So I do see that there could be some sort of distancing in a relationship. And you could, this could just be a part of your imagination too. 
you might be falling out with a specific person or somebody in a relationship. Um, but I feel like because you, you could be imagining some things or seeing some negative things in your mind, thinking negative about a specific situation. But um, also, I do see that with this relationship showing up in reverse, you could be like imagining things that are going to create that are creating a wedge between a relationship that you have with someone. It says, I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So you might be feeling like somebody ain't serving your highest good. And I, optimally, this is your choice. At the end of the day, you know if something feels like it's not serving you or not, and it's time for you to, like, you know, step away from that relationship. Move away from it, especially if it's an imbalanced relationship. If you're putting in more love in the situation than they are, you don't feel like you're receiving enough love at a specific situation, then you already know. Like, you got to make that choice to serve yourself. Also, I do see that you could be attracted to certain, like, bad energies because you're such a loving person. It's like you might be taking on and building relationships with people who are just not in alignment with you and your higher purpose. So, mm, but I definitely see you dropping some sort of relationship in the future. That's what that's what could be coming to an end for some of y'all as well. We got the Four of Cups showing up first. You're sad. It's like you're sad about something. You could be dealing with the water sign too. We got um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Heavy on the Pisces and Cancer. But this is wish fulfillment. This is like your wishes coming true. It's like this is something that you waited for for a long time. But this Nine of Cups energy, something that you have been through the ringer for. You put in a lot of work to get to this place. And it's like things are manifesting for you, and especially in terms of self-love. This Nine of Cups is definitely about satisfaction, being satisfied. And it's like ultimately nothing is going to satisfy you more than love, love in a relationship, love in a connection, love for yourself. You will always feel satisfied when you have taken the time to love yourself and look up and see the opportunities that's being presented to you at this point in time. You could be in your head or in this like withdrawn period. You could have been in that area too, where it was like you were just working on filling your own cups up. Filling up your cups, Virgo, okay? Because yeah, if you ain't got no love for yourself then you ain't gonna have no love to give and that's just that on that but i do see here with this four of cups energy you could have been wishing and waiting for something and a magical opportunity has presented itself to you an opportunity to love more to celebrate more to get out of your head get out of this this head space that has been you know blocking your forward motion your excitement for life right so um, it's like there could be somebody that you um, something or someone that you were lacking interest in. There was just a lack of interest in something that you had going on. You could have been contemplating what to do or how you could detach from this energy. But you were holding on to it because once again, out of love, you were seeing the good in all things to the point where it's like, even though it's not serving you, you still stay in there and you unhappy. It's just like how sometimes people are married to someone that is just not fulfilling them or even just not even married, just in a friendship or relationship with someone who isn't really filling them up emotionally, but you stay because y'all been with each other for a while or y'all have some sort of emotional attachments to one another. But with this nine of cups, it's like, you're comfortable here. That's why I feel like somebody's comfortable, but they're not too happy. Their arms are crossed. It's like, yeah, I'm comfortable, but I could be happier, right? You could be feeling very calm and tranquil. Like, all right, I'm 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 at peace with this right here, right now. But I do feel like something is definitely coming to an end. I feel like there's something greater that you're still waiting for, Virgo. Something that's going to fill you up even more emotionally. We got the fool showing up here in reverse. So being afraid to... Take a leap of faith here. Somebody being very foolish. Naive. Also, I'm getting the energy of somebody uh, like a pessimistic person that's just not wanting to move forward. You could be dealing with someone with that energy as well. Childish energy. Not willing to or not willing or wanting to grow up or mature. Hmm. Come on now, Virgo. What's what's this energy? Who you dealing with? Who you who was you dealing with? With this vibe. 
because you deserve better. I do see like there are like new beginnings that you might be feeling like you're not prepared for. You might be feeling underprepared or even careless, hesitating, hesitating to move forward. As you can see, this this fool is all about moving forward. Pack light, right? Not carrying much baggage along with them. A very pure energy. But here, I feel like the energy could be tainted. There's something tainted about this energy, this person that you're dealing with. It's like they they don't have a really positive outlook on life. They're afraid to move forward. Very immature energy. And these are the relationships that you find yourself in with people. But it says something about yourself too, right? It's like don't even hesitate to cut certain people or certain energies off. When you feel like they're being reckless or they're stunting your progression forward, it's like if you really love yourself and this is what we all have to check ourselves and really ask ourselves, do we love ourselves enough to do what's best for us or are we going to just do what's best for someone else? Because that's why that's why I think that service card showed up in reverse, because it's like you could be trying to serve other people or someone else, but not yourself. Then we got the Knight of Wands showing up. Yeah, definitely whoever this energy is, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But this person is very much, mm, I don't know, I'm getting cocky energy. Cocky and volatile. They like to rush things. They don't like to take their time. And honestly, in order for you to be attracted to this type of energy, there must be something going on within you too as well, Virgo, that is bringing the, this energy or this person your way. It's time to move away from this energy and build a better relationship with yourself and get away from these narcissistic energies. We got the six of cups. Yep. See, so I'm telling you, it's definitely a connection that you've had with someone, someone that you've known for a very long time. They could be younger than you as well, too, with the six of cups energy. But it's like it's just not fulfilling you. It's not giving you what you need. You're not. It's like y'all are. There's a lot of toxic memories tied to this relationship, this connection. And like I said, once again, you could have known this person for a very long time. I'm getting the energy of puppy love. Someone that you've known since your childhood. There could be things that still affecting you from your childhood. Relationships with family members that you're still holding on to from the past. That could be making you afraid to move forward. One more card. And then the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so repressing your emotions. It's time to... Uh, Pour, let your emotions flow. Love yourself. Put yourself first, too. That's the thing about the Ace of Cups. It's about putting yourself first. Then you are an Earth Angel. Look at the Temperance card. It's just like about being patient with yourself and moderating how much time you or time or energy you are putting into certain things and people in your life. It's just like if it got to be a reciprocal thing, pouring into someone else's cup, but knowing that they're going to be able to pour back into yours, right? And pouring your energy into something that is actually going to bring you more love, more joy into your experience. Because I do see that there's a depressed energy around you. And you could be dealing with, like I said, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Someone that you've known for a very long time. And um, it's just like you could be putting this person before you. Even though you know it's not serving your highest good, you're still engaging with this energy but it's time for you to fill your own cup up it's time for you to love yourself it's like a new start that's trying to come your way but you could be so wrapped up on this past energy this past person that you can't even allow this new opportunity to come in for you once again look that that one cup coming out the cloud again it's like spirit is trying to give you something that's going to get you moving get you going get you more excited for life again and this could have been someone, like I said, that you met first. It's like you could have showed this person love. They were down in the dumps. They were depressed. They were just not really the happiest. And it's like you brought them some sort of new spark in their life. And you helped them. Or you thought what you, thought what you were doing was helping them. But as you can see, they're still making foolish and immature decisions and moves. 
And it's just like they're just not wanting to evolve. They don't want to grow up. So it's best for you to move out of that relationship with them. Just because you've known them for a very long time, it doesn't mean a thing. What matters the most is making sure that your cup is filled. You have nothing to give if you haven't been giving to yourself or if you're not receiving what it is that you need back. Like, you got to put your needs as a, a top priority. If people can't meet your needs, then, um, yeah, it's best that if you allow them to move away and work on themselves. Because that's another thing. You can't fix somebody. You can't make somebody want to do better. They can only want that. And you shouldn't have to necessarily wait around for someone to do better either. But ultimately, that's your choice. Ultimately, that's your choice. But I do feel like somebody could be draining your fountain of youth as well, too. It's like, I do feel this energy of somebody, a relationship stressing you out, having you looking older than what the freak you really are. Like, bags under your eyes, like, just tired. Yeah, don't be thirsty for this person, too. I definitely see somebody could definitely be being thirsty. Very much thirsty energy. All right, what else we got here? Indecision. So your heart, it's like hard for you to make a decision. You're just like, I don't know if I should like stay where I'm at with this person or should I backtrack with someone from the past or move forward solo dolo and find something new eventually. But Spirit, I do feel like it's all about progression forward here. If you move forward and you're confident in your decision to move forward and you're just focused on love, your wishes will be fulfilled. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're in this indecisive place, though. You could be really hesitant, though, and I get it because, you know, you don't want to leave anybody behind. But why well, I just hear Little Red Riding Hood, especially with it's giving Little Red Riding Hood vibes. <sighs> the Big Bad Wolf. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to have to stand up to somebody here making a decision to stand up to somebody for your own sake then we got the second chakra archangel ariel little mermaid i'm thinking of with ariel here but it's like a whole new world is out here waiting for you a whole new world but are you willing to go and endure it are you ready to go and endure it here with this full energy is giving me very much not wanting to move along and see what the world actually has to offer you, the endless possibilities available. There could be a lack of intimacy as well in this connection or relationship. Also, I'm getting the vibe of whoever it is that you're giving your energy to this fool, this immature energy <clears throat> that you're in engaging with is blocking your creativity. And it's like you're not even attracted to this person that much. Like you're not feeling that intimate with this person because they're just not feeding your soul <laughs> in the way that you need them to. Also, um, you know, it's not their responsibility to do so. Ultimately, you have to lead by example how you expect to be treated. So it's like you got to call the shots and set certain boundaries, emotional boundaries here. I'm definitely seeing emotional boundaries because you can love people but still have emotional boundaries. It's like, yeah, I'm not just going to allow you to deplete or drain my energy and hold me back. I still love you, though, but we got contracts. Somebody is definitely super committed. Virgo, you are hella committed. You are hella committed. It's like you feel stuck, though, here with this contract. You could have even signed a contract being foolish and rushing into something. But now it's like you got to find a way to get out of this relationship, this connection here, because you rushed into it. And I feel like you don't want to give up. You want to um, hold up your end of the bargain. But look, as you can see, this woman is blindfolded, so she's not seeing everything so clearly. There are some things that she's still oblivious to. So do your research before you sign any contracts. That's what I'm hearing. Because I do see that you could be like, somebody could be offering you something, trying to rush you to sign a contract. And it's like, these purpose, these people aren't serving your highest good. They just want to get money out of you. They want to get something out of you. They want to give, they want to get, but they don't want to give to you. That's the vibe I'm hearing here with this contract. So, yeah, do your research. Make sure that you are overlooking any sort of contracts or um, people's behavior as well, too, before you really decide to get into a deep, committed relationship with them. 
What else we got here? A woman holding a coin. I'm seeing 666 here because 42 reduces to six. And then there's six of cups with the number six card with the contract. This is somebody that is playing with your money here. This woman holding a coin. Somebody, it could be a lady trying to offer you a job or a position or like a, a new opportunity, air quote, lucrative opportunity to make some money. Definitely make sure that you are overlooking this contract if they get, they're trying to get you to sign some sort of paperwork. But with the 666 energy, it's like align your thoughts with the universe. Align your thoughts with the universe is what angel number 666 means. Remember your true divine nature and dream big. You have bigger things to, um, bigger things that you want to achieve in life instead of dealing with mediocre, immature, limited energies, people who don't want to move forward and event, advance in life. Because I do see here with the woman holding the coin, there could be something, a hold up on your finances or like a financial blockage, financial instability. Or just not valuing yourself enough. Putting yourself in situations where you're not valued. Yeah, that's what that woman holding the coin showing up in reverse is. It's a lack of value for yourself or women in your life. Somebody that you're dealing with, you could be dealing, you could be in, um, you could be dating somebody who is just like financially unstable right now. They just don't. I don't know. I'm getting like poverty vibes. Just a little poor. They're making poor actions, which are which is leading to um, poor financial standing as well. Then we got the door to personal healing and happiness. So yeah, with this broken heart, I do feel like your heart is healing or there's a major need for you to heal your heart right now. You have definitely been dealing with a broken heart. This is the number nine card too. It looks like a six showing up in reverse. That six is heavy, y'all. Six by the month of June, though, I feel like you're going to be completely healed. But look, this nine energy this is a broken heart, something that you, you're you grieving it. It's like, of course, when you cut this person off, it could be very painful, it could be super painful to have to do this. But this is for your own happiness and your own healing. It's like you can't keep on dealing with this, this draining energy. Whatever this person is, this energy that keeps draining you because it's blocking your healing and your happiness. But it's like, you need to heal. So you got to fill your own cup up. Nourish yourself. Nourish yourself. Tend to your own emotions. Pour your emotions into relationships that will reciprocate. You know what I'm saying? Instead of loving on someone and being up under somebody all day that's just not giving you what you need emotionally, pour that same effort and energy into other people that you know will fill you back up. Go laugh with some friends, right? Uh, express your compassion to somebody who can actually receive it versus someone who's just going to look at you and just, you know, nod back or like not even say thank you or somebody who's not even pumping you up with positive things because it's, it's making you feel empty. Ultimately, it's making you want to isolate from this person isolate yourself from the world or other people this other person might be even isolating themselves from the world or just feeling very disconnected but this is a disconnected vibe with this ace of cups so this is where the healing is required fill yourself up virgo allow yourself to be filled up i'm gonna pull one affirmation card for y'all then i gotta go but i do love and appreciate you all so much spirit what's the affirmation card for my lovely virgos here clear messages for Virgo. But I do feel like the, the door to healing and happiness is open for you, but you might not see it that way because you might be feeling very disconnected or isolating yourself. You're not allowing yourself to start new friendships with people. You're not allowing yourself, um, you're not being compassionate enough to yourself to nourish yourself. You feel like you owe it to somebody else first. You got to put yourself first. And that does not make you a rude person. That just means I really want to be the best version of myself for not only me, but the people that I'm connected to. And what example am I setting if I'm not taking care of myself? I'm literally setting an example to tell other people to not take care of themselves. Right? So, yeah, no, we can't do that. We got patience. Yes. So I feel like you've been waiting for a very long time. You've been very patient throughout this journey. And Spirit is about to bless you with something. It says, congratulations. You're about to be blessed with a new relationship or connection. 
However, you don't want to rush into these relationships. That's what I was saying about this Knight of Wands energy. Don't rush. Be patient. Patiently read through any contracts that you might be signing. Patiently give yourself time to um, pick up on other people's energies before you just jump into a committed relationship with them, before you move them into your house, before you uh, trust them with your finances, right? Then we got get centered here too, because you are earth sign. So um, it's just about you being grounded. When you are grounded and centered, you make the best decisions, Virgo. But um, definitely wait, wait it out and just see. Um, if you are separating yourself from somebody in a relationship, don't be so quick to get back with them just because they're showing slight signs of change or they're telling you that they change. It's just like, be patient and just see how things unfold. Don't rush into um, anything. Also, be mindful of how you were spending your money. I'm hearing don't spend all your money in one place. But you're, you are going to be receiving something very amazing very soon. Be patient, but don't wait too long, right? Like, patience is not about just sitting around and waiting for something to happen. It's about doing what you need to do, but staying in alignment and not rushing a specific outcome. So keep that in mind, Virgos. I love you all so much. I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below in the comment section if you want to chat with me or just spread some appreciation. And until next time, I love you so much. Peace, love, and prosperity.